Hey, welcome back. You're listening to Ultimate Affiliate Marketing Podcast. I am your host, as always, it's Paul Motley here. And tonight we're going to talk a little bit about being everywhere or, as they say, omnipresent and exactly why would you want to be and how can you do it? Well, there's something that I've learned over the last couple of years is that when you see sort of like big affiliate contests, uh, it tends to be, you know, the, the same names at the top of the leaderboards. But once in a while, you get a few people which suddenly come out of nowhere. And what you find is when you actually dissect it and you actually see and you're actually going to go ahead and look at these people which are on those leaderboards. If you go and search their stuff out, you actually go on the online, you go to their different profiles and you see what's happening. What you'll see is there's been quite a long lead up before the actual affiliate launch. Now, obviously, if you have the advantage of knowing that there's an affiliate launch coming up, then that's great. And and um, one of the best places to go and check that out is, is a website called Munchai, um, which actually shows a lot of the affiliate launches like um you know whether it be clickbank or jvzoo or or anything else like that so you can go ahead and pre-plan in front in time but we're talking really about being omnipresent and you know exactly why would it be useful and how can you actually do that as well well if you actually look at it you've got to create a lot of content and put it in a lot of different places to be omnipresent now one of the things that you can do is actually be a little smarter about it so let's say for example you wanted to content enough content for 30 days or 60 days or 90 days now it would be almost impossible to, for you to slot in doing all these things every single day going forward but what it can do is actually cram in and create content to begin with and then kind of splice it out and then schedule it out over that time. And when I'm talking about splicing it out, let's say, for example, you, you shoot a video. Well, if you were putting that video onto Instagram, for example, you've only really got 60 seconds that you can put on. So if you've got like a 10 minute video, you could actually split it up into, you know, 10 different videos, which will go out. On Instagram so all of a sudden that one video can become 10 and you can also then think right okay well what if I don't want to use I don't want to mix it up a little bit and rather than just having videos on Instagram I want to have like uh, images as well well again that's the same thing because you can use images on like places like Pinterest and stuff like that so what you could do is again do a, either a screen capture or you could use previous pictures that you've got or take pictures that you that you want to use and grab little quotes from it and we call those quote cards now these quote cards can be used on Instagram you can also use um, th um, tools like Canva to reformat them into Facebook posts or like I said Instagram posts or Pinterest and then you can stick them out on various different places as well you can post them out all the different platforms so not just on your Facebook uh, feed, you can use your Facebook business page. If you've got your own group, you can put it into there as well. So all of a sudden you think, right, okay, well, if I create 10 videos, that could be like 100 posts. And then you start thinking, right, okay, now I've got something I can work with. Now I can actually post out a video every day for 100 days because I can split those videos up. Does that make sense? And then you can actually warm the audience up by using those little clips and using it on your business page. And if you do have the funds and means to do it and boosting those, so or actually like putting, you know, creating ads for uh, video views to see which one of those are most, you know, useful, they're getting the better engagement and stuff like that. And then going forward, you can create more content like that. So you don't have to go out and create the whole, 10 load of videos to start with you can just create two or three stick the actual clips out and see which ones are getting the most comments the most uh, engagement and all that sort of thing and then you can create something similar to it and that's kind of like how people become what they call omnipresent 
they do a bunch of content, split it all out, and then push it out using scheduling. Now, if you, if you don't have anyone else to do it, you've got to manually do that, or you can use um, scheduling tools like either Hootsuite or I personally use Later. Um, and you can also, with those videos that you're doing, you can take the script or the content of it, and there's a website that I use called otter.io, which allows you to input either audio or video, and it will extract the text from it and then you can create blog posts from it. So all of a sudden now, you're not only putting videos out there, you're not only putting stills out there, you're not only putting quote cards out there, now you're actually being able to put blog posts up as well. So all of this starts becoming more and more. So over those sort of like three months, if you like, if you wanna lead up to, a, to something, all of a sudden you've got all those assets there, you've got all these little touch points, all these little links or interlinks all over the internet. And each of those could go or will be linked to or point to your bridge page. And if you don't know what a bridge page is, then please go back and listen to some of the other podcast episodes because I do these every day. And if it's your first time listening, then please just go ahead and subscribe because that way you're not going to miss out on stuff. And there's a whole bunch of episodes. I think this is like 76, uh, episode 76 now. But I'm just trying to give you an idea of how you can actually get things out there where the big guys are doing it and they're doing it well. And if you play it right, then it can cost you almost nothing or could, you could actually do it totally for free if you're prepared to put the work in yourself. Now, obviously if these guys are earning tons of money, they will farm it out to VAs. And if you do have that facility and you do have VAs that can do this for you, then you know more power to you because that's gonna save you a ton of work. But obviously, if you're just starting out and you're just trying to get things rolling and you know you really want to start hitting those targets that you set yourself and, those, and achieve those goals, then you are going to have to put the work in yourself. But people obviously follow people. And the more times they see the people or, or those persons or people or whatever you want to call it, the more chance they are going to then going to start resonating with them they're gonna start knowing them quite well. This is the no like, and trust thing. We've talked about this yesterday on the podcast, so go back and listen to episode 74, of course. But it's a definite way of widening your footprint online. And when it comes to like even posting value in groups, you don't have to post your link out there. Remember, don't post links in other people's groups. They don't like it and you will get banned. Simple as that but you can post about the content that you're putting out there. So not necessarily putting the video, but you could actually summarize it if it's valuable for others to listen to or read or anything like that. Summarize it and add one of your photos, add one of your quote cards. But anyway, so that is what we're talking about and that is how you can actually start going down the road of being omnipresent. Because believe you and me, Having a large fan base means nothing unless you have a goal for it. So you need to be starting directing what you're working towards and make sure you hit those goals and don't just like blindly create content without any goals towards it. Anyway, that is enough from me tonight and uh, we will catch you again tomorrow.